Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. My name is Amy Dallin, and today's Talking Comics Weekly is all about Avatar, The Last Airbender. This week's new release is the graphic novel Avatar The Last Airbender, The Rift, Part 1, from Dark Horse Comics. Written by Jean Yang, Michael Dante DiMartino, and Brian Kanitsko, with art by Japanese duo Gurihiru. For those who aren't familiar with it, Avatar was an American animated series set in a fantasy world where certain individuals can manipulate, or bend, one of the elemental powers, like air. Bend. Air. Only one person can learn to manipulate all four elements, and that person is the Avatar, whose mission in the show is to restore harmony between the four nations. That barely scratches the surface, of course, of the incredibly rich world they developed in the TV series, and when it ended, it left a lot of people hungry for more. The series has a sequel called Legend of Korra, which airs on Nickelodeon, but there is a time gap between the two, and the Avatar comics are designed to bridge that gap, to resolve some of the unanswered questions from the series, and to let fans follow the fates of the original main characters. This week's graphic novel marks the beginning of a new storyline in the Airbender comics, which are considered canon. And you know they're legit, because Kanetsko and DiMartino, two of the three writers I just listed, are the co-creators of the show, and like, that whole world. Avatar draws heavily on East Asian mythologies, cultures, and historical traditions, among many other sources, in filling out the rich details of its world. And this extends even to the way the characters fight, which is what today's adventure is all about. Martial arts! Airbender style. To investigate more of the source material behind the world of Airbender, I am here in Franklin Canyon Park, where we are going to learn about the art form behind waterbending. Tai Chi, or Tai Chi Chuan. I am joined by very special guest Jan Lacanis, who is going to share some Tai Chi with us, and Dante Bosco, who you may know as the voice of Fire Lord Zuko. Yes, and here to do waterbending today. <laughs> You know, the Fire Lord has love for all the nations of the Avatar world. So what are we going to be doing today? We are going to uh, do some Wu-style Tai Chi. Okay, so it's a lot of movement and stuff? Yeah. All right, well then let's, ready to go? let's go. Dude! You know, it's the combination of the, of the Fire Nation and the Water Tribe, so... Coming together. Zutara, let's go. <laughs> I wanted to take a second, Dante, to say, first of all, thank you so much for coming out and doing this. No doubt. I just want to invite everybody out there. Uh, I'm throwing a big cosplay ball in Los Angeles. You can go to phantomsociety.com and uh, check that out if you want to come. It's going to be all ages, and it's going to be a club. It's going to be crazy. I was also wondering if I could ask you a favor. Yes. Because, of course, you did the voice for Prince and then later Fire Lord Zuko. And we were just talking about the Dun -dun. Airbender comics. Yes. Would you read a section of this for us? Will you read it with me? Sure. Let's go, let's, let's VO together. So this is from Avatar The Last Airbender, The Search, part one. You and father are meeting for the first time in over a year. And I know these aren't the best of circumstances. I thought the tea might lend a little dignity. You want dignity? Let father and me talk to one another like two human beings, in private. One is chi blocked and the other has completely lost his firebending. They can't do anything but talk. Like it or not, Azula is my best chance of finding my mother. Suka, revisited. Mm -hmm. Today we're gonna do some Wusa, so this is gonna be great. Let me show you some of the form first, just so you can get a sense of it. That kind of reminds my days of breakdancing a little bit. Awesome. Kind of... I have no days of breakdancing. Oh, but... <laughs> tai Chi means supreme ultimate. And Tai Chi Chuan. Supreme ultimate? Supreme ultimate. So. That's awesome. Tai Chi Chuan. <laughs> Chuan means fist, the supreme ultimate fist. Inhale, lift the left arm. Draw the breath up. So this guy, he's actually got a, a fiery uh, chi, which is really cool. Are you kidding? So I was at a party this one time, and the old wise man at the party does this thing where we can't move him. And literally like six of us were pushing on him and we couldn't move. The guy was like 80 years old. Rooting. Rooting, that's exactly what I think ah. it was. So the rooting drill is what, is what we'll do a little now. So try to run him back. Try to Just run him back. Yeah, push him a little more. Good, 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 good. Awesome, awesome. Okay, that's, that's, cool. that's cool. No, that's great, that's fantastic. <laughs> that's cool. So 
Thank you so much for taking us through what was clearly barely scratching the surface of everything that there is to know with Tai Chi. Thank you for having me. Of course. Part of the reason we wanted to have you on here is that you created your own comic book company. Yes. That's Creative Impulse Entertainment. Mm -hmm. And you publish, for instance, Justice for Hire, Volume 1. And everyone should make plans, if you can, to go to the Cosplay Ball and check out Dante's YouTube channel. Yes, come to the Cosplay Ball. Uh, we'll have a good time. So thank you guys both. Thank you. So thank much you. for being here. And I will see all of you guys in, like, a second. When you go get your copy of The Rift this week, you might also want to look out for the following. The new Adventure Time graphic novel, Seeing Red, which is all about Marceline the Vampire Queen by Kate Leff and Zachary Sterling. The first issue of Marvel's Moon Knight, which revives the cult favorite hero under legendary writer Warren Ellis. This should be pretty interesting. And a one-two punch from Ed Brubaker this week, whom you may recall as the creator of Winter Soldier. The new issue of spy story Velvet from Image Comics, whose lead character Velvet Templeton has instantly become one of my favorite women in comics, and the first deluxe hardcover collection of the horror noir series Fatale, about a woman who may be even more dangerous than Velvet. For more recommendations inspired by Avatar, go to geekandsundry.com for a bonus video. What are you picking up this week? Which nation would you be from in the world of Avatar? What do you think of the tie-in comics? Chime in below and don't forget to please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and come back next week for another adventure and more talking comics.